So butane thiol. Butane is four. Thiol is an N like an alcohol. Remember, sulfur is in the same family as oxygen. So this is going to look just like butanol. So we're going to draw these fast now. Let's speed things up a little bit here. So we got four diamonds, and we're going to have an S on the end. Let's do the S first. Do S really big down there. So the thiol means it's only going to have that one group out here. We should probably draw it. Well, what if we drew it inside the star? See, like I said, kids, we're just making it up here. So that's our equivalent of the alcohol. Greenish, because it's electronegative, just like oxygen. Six bonds to it, right? So coming off there, just four carbons. They'll probably number them that way. Most significant group gets a number one. So one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. That's straight carbon that's going across there. So what do we got? CH3 for methyl, CH2. CH2, CH2, ain't no big deal. <laughs> Again, for you little kindergartners, we'll color it in with you. Actually, we should do our reds first, right? Save it for the marker. So here's one, two, one, two. Nothing to it, is there? We're going to color these all black because we know our hydrocarbons by now. Okay, there we go. One, two. Butane is four. So now you know your groups. If there was an OH, be butanol. This is the skunk smell that you smell. Remember I said nitrogens and the sulfurs are the ones that are the foul smellings that you smell and decay and things of that nature. Still still like an N better. Sulfur. Color it in kind of green. Sulfur is green, right? Green and yellow. Next we have strawberry, furin all. It's not even pineapple, tomato, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so let's start. Looks just like our ribose ring. You're going to hear furanol, furane for five-membered rings, if I recall. So let's draw. Just start here. Here we go. See a diamond, see a diamond. See how aggressive you can get? Just start drawing it. Diamond, diamond. That's your five-membered ring right there. Now we see a double bond here. So let's see. We're going to have an OH. Do our OH O's first. O, O, O. Look here. So here's our double bonded O. Have carbon. Next comes the double bond we got to look at here. So we're going to keep the double bond on the inside. We're going to have to connect it that way. So the OH is going to go on there. And up here is just a methyl methyl. So diamond. 
diamond, see the symmetry of this? This is what we talk about when you look at the side groups and see how it's formed. Methyl's up there, O's on the side, even though that's a ketone and that's an alcohol. Show that's an alcohol. That's a double bond. See how the coloring comes in now? That just makes this so beautiful. Pick the wrong color paper to do double bonds on. So now we learn no green paper for double bonds. Yellow makes no sense. So what do we do here? We usually draw a little smiley face on those, don't we? Some red hair. All happy. Hue. What do we got on the golden yellow? Let's see how that comes out. I notice I have two different kinds of yellow colored pencils. Bright yellow and this golden yellow. Oh, methanes, we'll do those methyls, CH3s. So another good idea is draw your CH3s hollow and then come back with the mark crayon color on them. So carbon's taken care of, four bonds, four bonds, check that out, see? We got one carbon here that's gonna get a so this is another good example for the different types of carbons that we have. I'm going to do this fast because the tape's going to run out. CH3, 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 one. CH3 for the carbons we're getting the burgundy color. So the S character comes from the proton, the p's are the p orbitals of the carbons, that's where that sp3 thing comes in. We will do black for the ones that are all colors, CH3, CH3, black again. So when you're smelling strawberry, this is one of the molecules that's going into your nose and spiky things. Pairs we can do, see, two lone pairs on the oxygens gives it the eight. She's got aliens in her head. So see, make it more colorful. This being a different carbon, different color. So really, see the beauty of this technique? You see a molecule now that has some life to it. that so you see it like that now you know what it is when it's drawn in the traditional structure it's gonna have a character of all its own furane oil alcohol there's the alcohol a ketone with what they'll call a lactone sometimes when they're in the circles oxygen's in the ring Pretty cool looking molecule though, right? Two methyls hanging off there. All different kinds of carbons through there. The oxygens fill in the spaces. You would see this coming from a sugar, right? Whenever the carbon oxygens, these were from the CO2s in the water, right? 